Good afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to this week's Tiger Paws. I'm Mackenzie Logan. And I'm Callie Murphy. Say, Mackenzie, have you seen a creature roaming around Wallace Room 110? You know what? I believe I have. Such a hairy thing. Well, that's none other than our own Dr. Joe Taylor's beard. Later, we will find out more, but first... Higher Ed Day is a day set aside for college students to rally in the state capitol for the benefit of funding higher education. UWA sends the band, cheerleaders, students, faculty, and staff to the event every year. This year's event will take place on Thursday and is an excused absence for students. For more information, contact Jason Gardner. Want to know more about our hairy situation in Wallace? Dexter is in the Livingston Press to find out more about the infamous Dr. Taylor's beard. The University of West Alabama is home to a colorful set of characters, possibly the most colorful being Dr. Joe William Taylor. You may have seen his beard traveling the halls of Wallace and wondered, who is this man and why is his beard so majestic? Well, here he is to tell you. I keep a band in my beard because, uh, because I use a chainsaw and I don't want to get killed, uh, because I cook a lot and I don't want to get burned up, and because uh, I don't want to look at those damn idiots on Duck Dynasty. What made you decide to want to grow your beard? So the women would think I'm so good looking. It's only itches when you don't clean it. That's my, that's my big tip. Uh, take a lot of steroids, inject steroids. That would be a good way to get it to grow fast. Uh, and you can also get it and hang it, and you can put weights on it, and it'll grow faster. There you have it, Dr. Taylor, the man behind the beard. Dexter Thornton, Studio 96. Thanks, Dexter. This past weekend was a winning one for our very own IMC majors. 18 students traveled and competed in the 29th annual SEJC conference in Lafayette, Louisiana. Let's head to Tierra to find out more about the award-winning journalists. When you have camera clicks, newspapers, Cajun food, and coffee cups, you have the 28th annual SEJC held right here at the Hilton Hotel. This year's Southeast Journalism Conference kept the beat going with Cajun food, guest speakers, and on-site competitions. In the on-site competition, our anchor Callie Murphy placed third in television news reporting and our public relations team of Haley Taylor, Shelby Campbell, and Caleb Walters placed first place overall. SEJC allows journalists to develop their craft through professional development and the Best of the South competition. I learned a lot about sports and politics and how to anchor those and it really helped me out in my future. This year, Amanda Nolan placed six in Best Advertising Staff Member. Hannah Riley placed six in the Best Television News Feature Reporter. Shelby Campbell placed first place in Best Multimedia Journalist. The UWA website received ninth place. And our Tiger Paws placed second place in Best College Video News Program. With many seniors leaving this year, UWA has big shoes to fill for next year's competition in Atlanta, Georgia. Tierra Robinson, Lafayette, Louisiana, Studio 96. Thank you, Tierra. In other news, author Joyce H. Cawthon will have a book signing and discussion on her newly released work, Out of the Cloth. The Center for the Study of the Black Belt will host the event Tuesday at UWA's Campbell Environmental Education Center at 5.30 p.m. When you go out to a fancy restaurant, are you ever confused on which fork to use or which way to pass the food? The Dining Etiquette Dinner held on Wednesday helped students and staff learn the do's and don'ts of eating properly. For example, salt and pepper should always be passed together and trash at the dinner table should hide under the bread plate. The annual event was hosted by the UWA Career Service Office for graduating seniors from each college. Speaking of food, ever want to pie a coach in the face? This Thursday, come with your dollar bills or Tiger Bucks to the basketball game and put your name in the raffle. During halftime, one winner per coach will be picked to smash a pie in the coach's face. All of the proceeds will go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Wondering if it's a good weekend to stay in or go out? Let's hear more about this week's weather from Erica. Thanks guys. For this week's weather, expect a sunny Monday afternoon and few showers on Tuesday. For the rest of the weekend weekend, expect to see lots of sun and clear skies. The highs this week will be in the upper 60s on Monday and Tuesday and in the 50s throughout the rest of the weekend weekend. 
It should feel chilly at night with lows around 40 degrees. Be sure to bring a jacket. Now back to Kelly and McKenzie. Hmm. Well, it sounds like the cool air wants to hang around a little while longer. That's all the news we have for you this week, Tigers. Stay tuned for next week's newscast, where we will cover the UWA Board of Trustees meeting. Signing off, Callie Murphy and Mackenzie Logan, Studio 96.